Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain graph of sine and cosine. So for that we are going to use following concepts. Number 1, sine 90 plus theta is equals to cos theta. For example, if you consider sine 120 degree, that can be written as sine 90 plus 30 and finally it becomes cos 30 and its value will become root 3 by 2 and thus 0 0.866. Second concept, sine 180 plus theta, that means in the third quadrant that becomes minus sine theta. For example, if you consider sine 210 degree, then sine of 180 plus 30 and then further minus 1 by 2, that is minus 0 0.5. If you have any doubt in these concepts, which have been explained in one video, whose title, title is sine of minus x equals to minus sine x and cos of minus x equals to cos x. The link of that video has been given in the description. Please watch if you have any doubt. Now the third concept that we are going to use, sine of 270 plus theta, that is any angle in the fourth quadrant that becomes minus cos theta. For example, 330 degree, so 270 plus 60, thus cos 6 minus cos 60 and its value becomes minus 1 by 2. So using all these concepts here, look at this table. There is nothing to get panic about. I understand it's quite bigger. So let us understand one by one. So first column, angle in terms of degrees. Here I have written to avoid any type of confusion. Here I have written all the angles starting from 0 degree to 360 degree. All those possible angles are considered here whose values are known to us. For example, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree. Here also beyond 90 degree I have considered those values which can be written in terms of 30, 45, 60 and so on. So here angles are varying from first quadrant to fourth quadrant from 0 degree to 360 degree. Now the second column is angle but in terms of radians. So here we simply convert, we have, we have simply converted this degrees into radian. Now to know how to convert degrees into radians, you can watch a video titled radians. The link has been given in the description over there elaborately it has been explained how to convert angle in degrees to radians and the concept of radians. Now 30 degree can be written as pi by 6, 45 as pi by 4 and 360 as 2 pi like this. Then if we put pi is equals to 3.14 then 3.14 by 6 in terms of real numbers we will get this value 0 0.523. Similarly 3.14 by 4 0 0.785 and so on till 2 pi we have converted. Now come to the fourth column. Here y values that is sin x. Now this sin x that means sin of this angle. Now if we consider 0 degree so sin 0 0. If we consider 30 degree then sin 30 1 by 2 that means 0 0.5. Similarly sin 45 degree 1 by root 2 that means 0 0.707 and so on. Here you can observe some negative values are also there because of the presence of sine in third quadrant and fourth quadrant that we have already discussed. Now if we plot these values of x and values of y in the Cartesian plane then we shall get this corresponding graph. Here we can observe it is varying from positive and then when it is coming to 3.14 this point is 3.14 that is pi. Here it is 0 and then again it is going towards negative. We can observe in the table that after pi that is 180 degree 3.14 the value starts becoming negative and then it is going to 0. This is known as sine wave or the graph of sine but it doesn't stop here because if we consider an angle more than 360 degree then also we can plot the graph because it goes till infinity. For example if we consider sine 390 degree that means we have completed one cycle and then we are going to the first quadrant again. So 390 degree that is equals to 360 plus 30 this 360 indicate completion of one round or one cycle. And then it becomes sine 30 degree and here we are getting 1 by 2. Similarly, if we consider 510 degree, then 
it can be written as 360 plus 90 plus 60. So this 360 indicates one complete cycle and then again we are going 90 plus 60 that means after one cycle to the second quadrant and then it becomes cos 60 degree and we are getting a value of 0 0.5. Similarly sine of 600 degree that is after one cycle in the third quadrant then we are getting minus sine 60 and its value similarly sine of 690 degree so this 360 indicates one complete cycle and after that 270 plus 60 that means after completing one cycle we are again coming back to fourth quadrant that means minus cos of 60 degree and that is minus 1 by 2 and minus 0 0.5 now if we plot these values then we shall get a graph like this so here we can observe the graph is going towards the negative side of x-axis also because if we consider angles in clockwise direction that has already been discussed the video that is titled y sine of minus x equals to minus sine x the link is given in the description you can see over there if we consider any angle in clockwise direction it becomes negative so thus we are getting a negative value here so this is for negative thetas and for negative thetas also the value of sign starting from negative and then again it reaches to positive value so after this observe this graph carefully now here we can observe the value of sin x is lying between minus 1 to plus 1. The value of sin is never less than minus 1 and never greater than 1 till infinity. So we can say the range of sin is from minus 1 to 1 whereas the domain, domain that means the possible values of angles for sin, the domain is all the real number. Here we are not avoiding any real number. So for all real number, sign has a corresponding value. That means for all the angles, sign has a corresponding value. And the domain is all the real number. But the range, the value of sign will always lie between minus 1 to plus 1. Thus, we can say domain of sign is all real numbers, that is R, whereas the range of sign is from minus 1 to plus 1. So in terms of function, it can be written as fx equals to sin x, then fx is mapping from real number to minus 1 to plus 1. Now similarly, for cosine, if we consider, consider the values as we have formed the table earlier, similarly if we form a table, then we shall get corresponding values of cos and after plotting, we shall get a graph like this. It's quite similar but not same. Things to observe here at this point. Here for angle 0 the value of sine is also 0. But here for angle 0 the value of cos is 1. I hope we, you can observe the difference. Similarly for pi by 2 that is 90 degree sine of 90 degree is 1. But in case of cos cos of 90 degree is 0 so therefore it is here and in this way the graph has been plotted so in uh, like the previous case only this direction indicates the angle in the clockwise direction and this side indicates the angle in the anti-clockwise direction that we consider generally here also the range of cos is in between minus 1 and 1 the least value of cos is minus 1 and the greatest value of cos is plus 1. Like sine, it also cannot go beyond 1 and the value of cosine cannot be less than minus 1. Here also the domain of cosine is all the real numbers that is all the angles. For all the angles, cosine has a particular value. But definitely that value will lie in between minus 1 and 1. Hence we can write domain of cosine is all real number whereas the range of cosine is from minus 1 to plus 1 as we have in case of sine. So in terms of function here we can write fx equals to cos x that is fx mapping from real number to 
minus 1 to plus 1. Next part here to observe that this is the graph of cosine we can observe for 0 degree angle we are getting value 1. For this graph where the domain is real number and the range is minus 1 to 1 and for this graph sine where the domain is real number and range is from minus 1 to 1 we can see for cos at first that for pi by 2 the value of cos is 0 for 3 pi by 2 the value of cos is 0 for 5 pi by 2 the value of cos is 0 similarly for minus pi by 2 the value of cos is 0 for minus 3 pi by 2 the value of cos is 0 now in case of sine for 0 sine is 0 for pi sine is 0 for 2 pi sine is 0 for 3 pi sine is 0 thus we can form this table that cos x becomes 0 when the value of x varies from pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2 or 5 pi by 2 or 7 pi by 2 or 9 pi by 2 and so on that is odd multiple of pi by 2 see 1 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 5 pi by 2 and for all odd multiple of pi by 2 we are getting the value of cos 0 from the graph we can determine this similarly in case of sine sine x will become 0 when the angles will become 0 degree or pi degree or 2 pi degree or 3 pi degree or 4 pi degree uh, sorry radians and so on right when we say pi then we know to we don't have to uh, give the term degree it will simply be in radian and here for sin x equals to 0 we can see that all the multiples of integer multiples of pi the sine value is 0 thus for cos we can say that cos x will become 0 if x is equals to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 here 2n pi 2n plus 1 indicate any odd number as we have observed here 1 into pi by 2 3 into pi by 2 5 into pi by 2 these are all odd numbers therefore 2n plus 1 multiplies pi by 2 for this value for this angles where n will be any integer for this angles the value of cos will always become 0 similarly for sine x is equals to n pi say 1 into pi or 2 into pi or minus 3 into pi minus 4 into pi minus 5 into pi or 7 into pi for all those n pi if we put x equals to n pi the value of sine will become 0 so these two are very important concept in this part thank you for watching that's all for this video thank you